Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again today. I always do appreciate it. And welcome back to Ooze, uh, what is it? <laughs> New Zoo to You. I forgot what the name of my zoo is. <laughs> We're back in our now quasi sandbox franchise park zoo and we are starting with a snack shop uh one thing i noticed at the houston zoo and you're gonna hear me talk a lot about houston zoo because it's the zoo i am most familiar with um they have lots of really generic stalls and lots of carts so i think i'm gonna need to do a lot of that this is actually a little too fancy for a lot of the stuff i saw now they do have some other options but for the most part a lot of the the vendors are just little tiny huts like this so that that felt appropriate so once we get that in i wanted to use it as a transition we start putting in those hooved animals that i was talking about and i got some uh, interesting feedback i i'm aware that it's not necessarily what's best for animals anymore i'm, I'm aware of that and uh i think i even mentioned that in the video but it's still a big part of the zoos I'm familiar with, so it's going to be a part of this zoo. There's also gonna be, like the next thing I'm gonna build is something super modern and super animal welfare-y. So I want to have both of those kinds of things in this zoo because I think that better shows um, a realistic representation of a, of, a, of a zoo, of a modern zoo. I mean, in, in, in transition maybe, but a modern zoo nonetheless. So here we are, starting with that first one, starting with that first pen. And uh, the more I dress it up, the better it looks. And I thought we'd have, well, like I really could have just made one giant pen for all these animals. I, I'm sure some of them can go together. Um, maybe not the little one of the antelope that are, uh, that are, um, desert creek desert antelope they probably couldn't fit in there very well but anyway wanted to get some more uh, some some barn type deal for cover here and uh, i think it turns out really well i i, I really like it I, I try to make it unique so that it's not just a box a little bit more interesting give it some cover uh, both outside and give it an interior space to lay down these are going to be for our sable antelope and uh, I, I think this I think this goes pretty well. I was having a heck of a time working with the advanced move tool because it decided not to work. It just stopped working. It I had to use the the, the, the little button, not the hotkey. And if you watch my tutorial, you know I love my hotkeys, and so it was so frustrating. But I got it done nonetheless, and I think it turned out really nice. So. Unfortunately, in this episode, I have a lot that I did off camera. I kind of got sucked in and I just went. I just went, I went to town. So we actually are going to take a, a, a good peek at a real time portion. And that real time portion, I'm going to show off everything I've done, including a quasi modern, just throw everything at the wall and see what sticks kind of uh, <laughs> cafe. And uh, to kind of signify that maybe that, that the cafe has gone. Either it's a new addition or it's gone uh, through some renovation. And we're going to have some newer exhibits right around it. Um, I'm contemplating whether I want to stick with African animals or if I want to go and do something really crazy. Uh, we still have to put our wolves somewhere. I have some idea, and our grizzly bear. I have some ideas for that. I just, I just I want to make sure I have enough time to do some really neat things before the week is up. So uh, people, I have asked what kind of tutorial people want to see next. And... I don't know what that was. Something just fell. <laughs> and it looks like the next tutorial that people want to see is a tutorial all about exhibits, basic exhibits. And so my thought was, or exhibits 101. So my thought was do a basic exhibit kind of like this and then do one that uses the null fences and then maybe do one that has some water in it. I think those would be three great uh great starting points for exhibits for for habitats so let me know in the comments um if it comes to habitats what do you want and what are some questions or things that you're struggling with and i'll see if i can't answer them for you probably be the same format that it was previously where we recreate something that i've already made off camera and i, I think that works pretty well so here we have putting in the foliage one of the things that's interesting is if the foliage is hanging over it still counts towards the the towards the satisfaction towards the requirements uh which can be beneficial and a hindrance like uh we put the desert antelope next door to this one i forget its name <laughs> and uh some of these african plants hang over and it negatively affects their habitat so i had to tweak i had to be very very careful with how i did that really pushing the education here 
really pushing the realistic look. We're going to add fences for people with a buffer zone that's going to have some plantings in it. And we're going to do that all the way down this hooved animal area. You can see here, these topiaries are straight out of Planet Coaster. Love these pieces. Some of my favorite foliage to use. And uh, that's actually just about going to do it for our time lapse. It's a short one today. So we're going to hop into real time and I'll show you around New Zoo to you as it currently sits. So sit right there. So here we are live in Nuzu to Zoo to you. I still haven't fixed that. <laughs> I need to do that. Anyway, here's a better look at our entrance area. We have a guest information here. In real life, this is like uh, member members uh, info. Like if you want to get your zoo membership, I guess we're selling umbrellas and stuff. Even though it never rains here. <laughs> When you walk in, you're met with this, a whole lot of nothing. But we do have some stuff going on here. The beginnings of our, it's going to be a reptile exhibit, reptile house. Um, I tried to do this on my own, and I didn't like where I was going, so I found some reference images that I'm going to be using. Um, that's something I do a lot, is I find an image, and I basically copy it. Uh, sometimes repurpose it, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do here is we might have, like, a, a more official like promenade like this is the old part here like this would have all been old zoo have like some so like a courtyard looking thing maybe we'll do that over there i'm not sure but if i zoom out you can see i got quite a bit done in this uh in between episodes here so let's start here with our turtles we have two adults and we have a baby turtle all my animals are multiplying they're multiplying doc look at that little baby turtle so cute so what are these? These are Aldebrachylus gigantea. It's tur oh, that's in Planko. What are these things? <laughs> yeah, it's a giant Al Alde Aldebra giant tortoise. There you go. Clearly, that's what that is. Everyone knows that's what that is. I suck at names. Still need to dress this up. Now that I'm looking at it, this is kind of kind of jank. Need to fix this a little bit. Need to make that look a little bit nicer. Um, it was okay, but we can we can do better than that. So here's that snack shop we worked on. Threw some picnic tables down. I like to see the people on the picnic tables, and then we get into here. It is your your hooved animal exhibits. They're pretty deep. I, I they're they're a pretty good size. This keeps happening though. They keep he keeps trying to eat the grass in the other exhibits. He needs to get his head back in his... There he goes. He needs to get his... It's probably a she. He needs to get their head back in their own exhibits. I like these guys, though. Sometimes when they rub up on this, they'll give a little kick. I think that's really cool. So, I, I, they are perfectly happy, perfectly content in here. All their needs are met. All their enrichment needs, all their food needs. Uh, sometimes I'll notice, like, this hay here. It'll get stank. Like, the hay out of the enrichment, it'll get all stinky and gross. And the keeper will have to come in and suck it up. So, it's kind of interesting. I, I didn't see that before. Here are our Oryx Gazelle. These are the guys I was talking about. These are cool. The problem with these guys is you need a lot of them for them to be happy. You need like four or five adults for them to be really happy. We are just on the border here. The problem I was running into is um, I had it and it was perfect. And then they all decided to have babies. So, we had like four or five extras in here. But we've, we've traded a bunch on the workshop. And it's a nice steady income of leaves now. So that works for me. All these people, you know, oh, gross. Uh, they need to cut that out. And if we scooch down one more pen, this is the biggest one. These have our uh, African cattle. Our, what are they? The African, you know, the African, African buffalo. I like these guys a lot. These might be one of my favorite, like, of the hooved animals. These might be one of my favorite. We have these uh, ones at Houston Zoo. Not these. We have these Angolora or Ankalinka cattle or something. They're the big orangish brownish uh. cattle with just massive, absolutely massive horns. And I love that they moo. <laughs> they like to swim too. They go in the water. I do have, I did have to put in, because we've got two ponds here, I did have to go in and put in a water treatment facility. And I also had to put in a power facility because if you look, I don't know if you, how many people know this, but if we go to power... The main entrance has a giant power built in already. The power is built into the zoo entrance. And then so we have here, um, we had to put another one in because we've already expanded quite a bit away. So I think that's kind of interesting. So there you go. Those are our three exhibits that we put in. 
And like I said, everyone is happy. If we click on them, these guys are pretty... Oh, they're enrichment. They actually... I need to do me more research to get their specific food enrichment. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have it if we hop into enrichment here. Um, no. And... Nope. And... Nope. So we don't have what they need. So we're going to have to research that. And we will plop that in there. But you can see... if <laughs> I was talking about the trees. This tree was hanging over the edge just a little bit. And it was upsetting the buffalo. And, like, uh, one of these trees was hanging over. Or I had a bush. Oh, this bush. This pink bush was over here upsetting the buffalo, so we fixed it. Lay down some planters, and these planters double because there's actually paths. This is a trick we learned in Planet Coaster. If I were to sink this down, you can see I've hidden paths there. So we've got that going for us. It's hard to see because the menu changes. If we go to this one and we sink it down, look, we've got paths hiding there. So it'll look like the guests are sitting on the edge of the planter. It's a good little trick you can use. And then... Uh, here is the big architectural, let me get rid of the interface, here's the big architectural part of this episode, and it's okay, some parts are good, some parts are bad, <laughs> gonna be honest with myself here, um, the thing is, it's a totally new set, I wanted to see what I could do with the pieces that were given to me, kind of use them in their, as they were intended, I like some things about it, like I like this cantilevered section here with these arches, I think that's a neat look, Something that I will probably use more frequently. I could have... Ex Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> I could have extended it even further out. I like the planting around it. I think it looks good. And I love this font that they gave us. This 3D font. That is so good. I am so happy Frontier gave us an actual font to make better signs. Um, rather than having to make our own out of art shapes. Actually, like I did for the entrance. So... But yeah, this is where we're sitting. I got all of this done in a day. Um, I played a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of work for me. If you're new to my channel, I'm a pretty slow worker. But yeah, I actually really enjoy how the shelter here is actually pretty large and spans both exhibits. Like, it's not too hard to see, like, if we could just maybe flip those two and open this fence up. And uh, suddenly it's a much bigger enclosure. So, but I like to keep them separate for now. I think we'll have an exhibit like a... I'd like to, if time if time permits, we'll do a mixed uh, exhibit with some antelope and maybe some giraffes and stuff like that. Whatever it is, it works well. Uh, in the backstage here, one of the things I mentioned in previous videos, how you actually have to think about your backstage now. And I've got mine working just fine. You can see, hopefully, a stark difference between what's going on here and what's going on in the front of the house. Just concrete, just standard. But this should look familiar to you if you watched our tutorial. Here's what we built with our tutorial. Here's our, I changed it to be a keeper hut uh, as opposed to two staff rooms. So we have a staff room and a keeper hut now. And in the back, I just kept it the same size in the back. I just removed the window hole. Um, it looks a little funky if you go inside, but don't go inside. What I could probably do is I'm probably going to, at some point, take this and cover it. I, I have a feeling like in real life this would be covered um, so that the elements don't hurt it um, as much as they would normally. And probably you would also even just have a whole building for this. So maybe we'll do that in the future. Um, but for now, I really want to play with animals. And I really want to flex some architectural muscles out here. And so, yeah, uh, that's where we're at. Oh, look, they're going at it. They're dying. They're seeing who, who the alpha is. That's so cool. I love it. Oh, look. Oh, he lost. <laughs> he runs away. I love that. That is so neat. That's some cool stuff. I love this. This is a cool-looking animal. Man, they did such a good job with the animals. They're a little chunk. They're a little thick. But they're all a little thick, which shows me that was probably intentional. But, man, they look good. I like how it walks through the water. Oh, that's so nice. I could see in the future just doing, like, doing something that wasn't even a zoo, just doing an African savanna. And just, oh, with the safari ride through it, not even making it a zoo. That's going to be really, really cool. With how beautiful everything looks. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So... But I like the views I get. This, to me, screams zoo. Like, this just screams like a standard zoo. Oh, they're at it again. Oh, my gosh. But you can see here I did some planting. When I was talking about the different fences, you've got the animal fence and then some plants and then the fence for the people. There's a better view of that up close. And everyone's going for a swim. It must be a hot day today. <laughs> so, yeah. So, in the next episode, what we're going to do 
is I think we're going to tackle the classic theme. We did something sort of modern. We're going to tackle the classic theme and get the exhibit set up. And then I think I want to do something really off the wall. Something really crazy. And I think it might actually work to put it maybe here or maybe here. Like this juxtaposition could be really cool. Like maybe this was a really old exhibit that they've since ripped out and just made it brand spanking new and now it's all swanky. I think we might do something like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, hit the like button. If you're new, if you're just finding me because of Planet Zoo, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss anything we got going on here. And uh, with all that being said, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever, and I will see all of you for the next episode of Planet Zoo. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.